Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to give you a tour of my new to me 22 center console judge yacht. So I've actually been looking for a boat for a long time, even though I had my 23 Maycraft pilot house that you may have seen in a previous video. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. But that 2300 Maycraft pilot house was great for just fishing, and then especially now that it's you know winter time, it's December, it's cold. It's great for that, but the one thing that I had an issue with was when I'm trying to go crabbing. It didn't really work too well for crabbing because it would get pushed all over the place. And that was kind of the reason why I started looking for a boat and came across the 22 Judge Center console. And a good friend of mine, uh, Jeff, he actually has one. He's uh, psyched up adventures on uh, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. So uh, make sure you guys check him out. But he actually had a judge, 22 judge for a while, and he highly recommended it. And he kind of does the same things that I do. He crabs the way I crab and does a lot of the fishing that I do as well. So kind of went on his judgment and, you know, I went through the whole process of um, doing the sea trial and everything. And I was very happy with it. And so far I've had a chance to take it crabbing and fishing the way I fish. Um, haven't done too much hardcore crabbing, just kind of feeling it out, run on the trot line. It works great for the trot line. And we ran traps, it works great for that. Kids love the boat. Uh, my wife loves the boat. That's kind of the important thing. So that's a great family boat and we could do pretty much everything on it. The big thing that I'll show you uh, when we get inside is that now we can kind of use more of the boat because with that pilot house, you're a little bit limited to get to the front just because it's kind of high. And then you kind of have to walk around the uh, front pilot house of the boat. And, kids weren't necessarily uh, too comfortable doing that. But let me go ahead and give you a tour of the boat. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and we'll go ahead and do a walk around. All right. So here's the uh, front of my 22 Judge Center console. You see it's got a nice uh, V on it here in the front. I've taken it in uh, probably the most I've been in is two foot chop so far. Um, it held up pretty well. It cuts through the waves. Um, I feel pretty safe. So one of the nice things that it does have here in the front is that it has these uh, spray rails. And what this does is it helps with the spray so that you have a little bit drier ride. One great thing with this boat is part of why I chose this boat is uh, you can see here on the bottom of the boat it's got a keel. Oh, let me go a little bit in the middle. You can see the keel. So there you go. You can see this keel right here. So this keel actually helps you with crabbing or running a trot line. It actually makes your boat track um, straight way better than uh, my previous Maycraft pilot house. My pilot house would like go all over the place. The wind would hit it and uh, have a lot of issues um, just trying to run my trot line. But here is the outside of the boat here. And this does have a dual axle load right five star trailer on it. So far the trailer's okay. I would have preferred a bunk trailer because it'd be a lot easier to uh, drive it on. I have driven this on, but I just gotta get used to it, I think. Let's get to the back. It's a nice Judge logo in there. That's my um, drain for the build right there. And then on the back here, you can see it comes with uh, Lenco trim tabs. It's another one on the other side. Here is my, oops, there's some leaves in there. That's the uh, scupper hole right there. And then there's my fish finder for the Garmin that I have. I have a 126 SV and a 1006 SV. This is the GT56 transducer, which is really huge. But you can see on the back here, it's got a nice bracket for the motor. This is a DF-175 Suzuki. It's a 2016. The boat is a 2016. But uh, when I saw it, it looked practically brand new because the previous owner took really good care of it. But the nice thing, it's got this bracket on it. So this bracket actually makes the boat act like it's a little bit longer as you're riding. It does have a really nice ride. I've been pretty happy with it, but I haven't been into any really big chop because I've been a little bit been a little bit picky with picking my days on the water. And then here on the left side or port side of the boat you can see I've got a small platform here with a ladder so I can get in easily if I'm swimming or it's great when I 
you to get on the boat and uh, load it and just work on it. It's been great. Then here's the other side, the whole port side, pretty much same as the starboard side. But let's go ahead, get up in the boat, climb up the ladder. This is great because it makes it a lot easier to get in. So right here, we'll start on the starboard side or right side. Here are these nice pop-up cleats. This is really nice that they fold flush. And then right here, this is my port here for the um, anchor light for when I'm fishing at night or I'm underway at night. I gotta have that uh, bright white center safety light. There's a rod holder there. That's a 30 degree, I believe. That's just going straight back. I'm going to put a whole lot more on here. So stay tuned for videos on that. I'm going to show you guys how to install rod holders on here. I'm going to put quite a few on here. I'll show you the what I've done here in a second. Let's just go ahead and finish on the starboard side. And then continuing with the stern, you can see they have these rod holders here. These have been kicked so many times I kind of don't like them because uh, I hit them all the time. I actually stubbed my toe really bad and actually bent my toenail back. I think the solution is to just take this bottom one off here. So you can see, you just probably take this off and cut it, but I'll show you a video on that um, when I get to that. Um, then also right here, there is a fuel water separator so I can change this out or even just drain the water out with this right here. Right, and moving forward, there's another pop-up cleat, which is really nice, and another rod holder. Probably going to put quite a few rod holders up here. Um, can never have enough rod holders, right? And then here at the front, this is what's great and what I missed having when I had my 2300 Aircraft pilot house is just this open deck. I'm sorry about all the leaves in here. I just fished the other day and it's quite dirty right now. I just wanted to give you a tour. There's usually cushions up here. I kind of took them off, put them in the garage, similar to this one on front console. But I like to not have the cushions when I'm fishing and I don't have the family on. I mainly have it for the kids to hang out up here. But you can see there's a couple hatches here. Um, sorry, I have my rope there. Uh, there's a hatch here on the right side or starboard. This little cavernous area in here is for storage. You can see I have my some life vests in here, and then also I've got the wash down uh, hose there. Then here is another hatch, just continuation of this whole front section here, the seating area. Again, more life vests, more dock lines, and such. Then continue again on this side, just another hatch, more storage. And same thing, just got some dock lines such in there, even a manual pump. But you can actually customize your 22 judge if you get it built, and you don't have to have this uh, seating area. Uh, I believe Jeff doesn't have this, so it's just wide open, so you have a lot of space to fish. Kind of like having this deck, because when I fished with my son, he was able to kind of step up here and then get a little bit better vantage point when uh, trying to cast a schools of fish that we got on but up here on the bow oh actually now we've got another hatch here for the front bow area it's just the anchor in there that's going up to the light for navigation light and we've got some bumpers in there at some point i'm gonna probably install a test test then up here on the front bow, you can see we've got another pop-up cleats. 
there. And then also we have these over here for, you know, when I anchor off, I can feed it on that side or that side. And then of course on the front, that's my uh, navigation light for safety. And then let's continue on. The port side is kind of identical of the starboard side. Got the rod holder there, got the cleat, pop-up cleat, and then the same rod holders that stub my toe. Again, I think I just need to cut that little one off. We should be good to go. Not stub toes anymore. So it's the same, just going all the way back. Got the rod holder again, and then the other pop-up cleat. Yeah, let's take a look at the stern of the boat. So also on the back, you can see there's two uh, drain holes here for the scuppers. Uh, the previous owner put these uh, sea sucker um, things on here. This is just to help you strap stuff down if you need to strap it to the back. Um, and then here are the, right there, those little clamshells. That one's actually for the um, trim tab. And there's the other trim tab. And this one is for the transducer. I just put some plumber's putty in here temporarily because I just installed that uh, GT56. I'm going to be putting a LVS32 on here to get live scope. I'm going to put one on the transom, probably back on this side. So I'm going to have to drill through the transom. So yeah, I'll have a video on that coming up shortly as well. So let's go ahead and get to my leaning post here. Uh, you can see the leaning post, it did not actually come with all of these rod holders. It came with just the four that you see here in the back. One, two, three, four. So I do a lot of light tackle fishing and I have multiple rods on with different uh, baits on so I could easily just switch up. So I added these five rod holders. I actually have another video showing you how to install these rod holders. It's very simple. Just clamp on rod holders. I think these are... Um, marine baby rod holders they're you know not expensive as well and you can see they look really nice so now i have nine rods here then on the leaning post this is a taco leaning post um i forget the exact model but i can put that in the description below i actually have everything that on the boat in the description below so you guys can check those out but it's got a nice bag in here so you can store whatever it's more vests and such and the flares. I don't know if there's a BKD in there. <laughs> then on the sides, it's got little pockets here as well. Then on the front of the leaning post, we do have this little bar to step on. I actually just leave it down. It's kind of tight to uh, put up and down, but it is cold, so it is what it is. But anyways, I always have it down anyways because I use it all the time. And now let's get to the console. Um, I do have an issue that I need to fix, and you guys will see that in a future video. You can see my steering fluid is leaking out, and it's actually coming out of the fill cap here. I ordered a replacement, so hopefully that's it, but I'm gonna have to also flush it as well. So stay tuned for a video on that, but here's the console, here's my throttle, there's the Ignition, and then here's my gauge right here. Does everything in one gauge? There's actually an issue with this as well, where it doesn't read the NEMA information. So, I'm gonna have to fix that. But again, be another video. And then you can see this has a Lowrance HDS9, which I don't use anymore. Um, I'm gonna probably sell this if anybody's interested. Let me know. Give you a good price. But I just put my Garmin. I don't have it out, but it's a 126 SV. Just install that. You can see I haven't even put a clam plate on there just yet. But I'll get to that. Maybe I'll show you how all that's set up as well. And then here we have a Lowrance radio. And there's the uh, antenna right there. I don't know why they put it inside of here. Um, I may move that or you know, put it on the T-top, but we'll see. And of course, here is a nice Kenwood radio. This is, comes in really handy with the family. We're just kind of hanging out on the boat. 
And then there is the wheel. Love having this knob here, it's great. And you can see here are the controls for the trim tabs right here. And then I also have an option for the uh, cigarette plug for accessories or what have you, charge the phone with, or whatever. Then here are all the, it's the panel here for my uh, the horn, electronics, bilge pump, whatever accessories, cabin lights, which cabin lights are pretty nice. I actually have LEDs go all the way around. It's nice blue LEDs, kind of like black lights sort of. Make sure uh, fluorescent uh, floors glow in the dark. And then the anchor and navigation. And of course, there's also the compass up here. So that is the console. Let me show you the inside. On both sides, there is uh, access with these hatches here. Let me show you from this side. See, it's got a pretty big console. So now I actually have a reason to turn on the lights. So on the console, it has a hatch on both sides. This is on the right side. And on this side, it's a little, got the, see yeah, that's the battery switch. Got two batteries in here, which you can see those two there. So I'm gonna turn it on so I can turn the lights on. So I'm gonna flip this cabin light on. And actually you can kind of see the LEDs right there. They actually really look really cool at nighttime. We've got a nice cabin light in there too, as you can see up there. So there's a switch. And you see it's a pretty big storage area. Um, I was actually surprised how big it was in here when I initially took a look at it. And you can see all my wiring there for you know, electronics and everything else. And then in the front there, well, I didn't show you that on the console, but you can see that right there. See the little tank there that's actually a freshwater flush down. And of course, you got more vests up there. And uh, I'll show you that actually on the outside of the console. Let me get to the front. So this is the inside. You can see the other door. I'm not going to open the other door. but So then of course, on the front of the console, right here, this is actually the uh, fill for the freshwater wash down. Just open that up and you can uh, fill it up with fresh water. Um, and here is my, here in the front, this is the nice seating area. I'm going to have to get this vinyl fixed at some point, but it's okay for now. But uh, it's a nice seat. I don't know if I've ever sat up here because I'm always in the back. But it's a nice seat for the family. And there's another hatch for rigging. And then on this side, this is where the attachment is for the freshwater wash down. And uh, that's why I have those hoses in the front. And then here on the top, you can see the T-top. It's a hard T-top. And I have four rod holders, as you can see. I am probably going to put more rod holders on it. So stay tuned for that. I may even put a, possibly a box up here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do, but, oh, the one thing with the T-top that's great that it came with is the uh, curtains that are around it. You can see right here, kind of dirty. I got to clean them up, but this is great in the winter time, especially. You know, get that wind out of your face. It's only for me <laughs> and whoever is in my passenger area, but it's uh, great. I am going to try to get some curtains made for the side here. Um, so we'll see. But here, let's take a look at the T-top. <laughs> so there's the top of the T-top, and hopefully someday there'll be a radar up there to help me navigate on the water and locate birds for fishing. So that is the T-top. All right, guys, so that was a look at my new-to-me boat, my 22 Center Console Judge Yacht. It's been great so far, and I really, really like it. If you guys have any comments or questions about the boat, or if I left anything out that you may want to see, let me know in the comments section below. So now you've seen the boat as it is. It's mostly how I got it, except for those rod holders and the fish finder that I added to it. But I'm going to be adding a whole lot of other accessories to it. 
So I have a lot of projects coming up in the near future. If you guys have any suggestions about projects or some things that I should add to the boat, let me know in the comment section below because I do have a big project that I would like to hopefully have coming up. If you guys can guess what that is, leave a comment below. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh that was a good one. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Tyler, isn't it? Tyler, you're holding it. Hold this up. Oh, you just spit up. What the heck? That's huge. Let's go. Come on. Let me get his head in. I'm going, I'm going. I'm going.